and welcome to New South Wales for the Sydney Sprint Weekend, the second round of the National Orienteering League 2023. Four races over two days in complex university campuses. Saturday the afternoon is the mixed relays at University of New South Wales. Well, let's head across to UNSW for the mixed sprint relay. Yes, thank you and welcome to UNSW. The competitors are just behind me here in quarantine. They've done their warm-up just outside and they're about to come out for the main race now. The format is four legs. The females will take the first and the fourth leg, the two most important legs there, and the men will fill the middle two legs. The female and male courses are generally the same, but with the men making a wider loop early on for more distance. There are some split controls to break up the field, with two versions for controls 1, 4 and another in the second half. There are teams from six states and territories represented, only Western Australia didn't make the trip. The senior teams line up in the front, juniors in the second row, and then all of the second and third teams behind that. Three, two, one. The mass start of the relay is always exciting. People running everywhere, positions chopping and changing, a few bumps and crashes with attention on the map more than the world ahead. The campus slopes down from the east to the west with a number of long sets of steps. The athletes were warned to pay attention to the steps here for safety. The first leg does have split controls, so we'll see the group divide up ahead briefly before rejoining for the second leg. There are a few split controls to reduce the likelihood of competitors simply following the person ahead rather than navigating off the map. Nia for New South Wales Juniors out in the lead, Julia Gannon for Queensland Seniors just behind. It's certainly looking like the 1B split control was quicker there. Exiting control 3, Nia has already established a 10 second lead. And here we have another split to number 4. We're naming them A and B, but the athletes' maps just have the number 4. They don't know which controls have been split or who has which split. The course passes through the start-finish arena halfway, allowing spectators to cheer on their state. Nia is too quick for the spectators to realise the race is here. Nia has a one-minute lead. This is the point at which the competitors for the next leg come out of quarantine in preparation for their run. There are more than a hundred steps to ascend here. The athletes will now make a loop around the highest part of the campus before returning to the arena. Here's Nia for the New South Wales Juniors, leading the race by about a minute. Sam takes over now with a good lead. The changeover between legs can often be chaotic with several runners approaching at once jostling to get into position with only a few seconds notice once the runner appears from the tunnel. Martin Dent for Canberra in second place here. Martin competed in the 2012 Olympics in London in the marathon. And Grant blew it at the back of the pack here. Grant won gold at the World Games in 2001. Let's follow the second place group for a while. Mason Arthur in white for Victoria Seniors and Henry Smythe in maroon for Queensland Juniors. There is a split control ahead. Ah, well, they all went right for 1B. It's entirely random who gets which map, so that was unusual for all four to go right. Oh, and here's Sam, a minute in the lead. A glimpse of Julian Dent there in sky blue. Julian has been Australian champion several times. And back to Martin for Canberra in second place on leg four. Martin for Canberra heading for 4A. Mason for Victoria going to 4B.
Julian for New South Wales just about to come through having closed the 8 second gap. Let's have a look at the first leg times. The New South Wales juniors leading by a minute and the next seven teams within 18 seconds. Now up to the high point of the course with Sam still in the lead for the New South Wales juniors. This is the top of the torturous set of stairs that all competitors are attacking at pace. Proof that the best orienteers need to be great athletes as well as great navigators. The New South Wales Senior 1 team are outside of the top 8 but Ewan is on the course now and will likely bring them back into contention. Number 12 is also a split control. This is number 11 on the female course. Sam carefully avoiding the garden bed. It's mapped as olive green, meaning it's forbidden to cross, protecting the vegetation. If an athlete crosses olive green, they will be disqualified. The barrier tape there is just part of the real world. It's not part of the course, so you can cross it, only annoying the campus safety officers, but you won't get disqualified. We can just catch a glimpse of Ewan in the background there. Sam in the lead coming through to control 16. And here is Ewan approaching the end of his run. Ewan has taken about a minute off most runners and is now in second place. We haven't been permitted access to the course map until after the race, so we can't get any cameras in position on the course unfortunately to capture the action. So all of the on-course footage will be hand-held GoPro running. All of the best runners are competing in the race, so we're left with a mediocre runner. Let's hope the runner can keep up. There's a narrow alleyway on the right here that the runners need to identify. It's somewhat hidden behind some water pipes and a wall. Sam will hand over to Cooper for the New South Wales Juniors, but it's going to be a slender lead over the New South Wales Seniors after an excellent run by Ewan, which is going to be the fastest of this leg. Alistair George now on the course, chasing down the lead. It's a steep set of steps here. They're just working their way through some alleyways around the back of the arena before emerging through the tunnel for the changeover. This is the third place group. Oh, and that's Callum White in white there for Victoria Juniors. Callum started the leg in 12th position and is now challenging for third. An excellent run. David Stocks in sixth for Canberra Juniors. And Angus Haynes here has got South Australia back into contention, just behind the third place group. Let's take a look at the race standings after two legs. New South Wales Juniors, 23 seconds in the lead of New South Wales Seniors, then a group of four teams in a cluster for third place. Back onto the course, Cooper still in the lead for New South Wales Juniors on leg 10. Cooper, just 16 years old, started 23 seconds ahead of Alistair of the New South Wales Seniors and still has a slender lead as we pass through the arena again. Cooper has a six second lead now. They're making the stairs look easy. Cooper flashes past. He's in the joint lead with Alistair on leg 15. Up on the highest part of the campus now. This is looking like the race for third. This is an excellent leg with three route choice options. We're following Paul de Jong of Canberra Seniors and Toby Lang of Canberra Juniors. Going through the canopy. Duncan for New South Wales is up above here right now on his route choice. It's so hard to read the intricate detail on the map when running. There are two sets of steps up ahead. The control is along one of them. Oh, Paul and sure, but Toby goes straight through, already working it out. Oh, and here's Duncan coming out from a better route choice up above the canopy. Off on leg 15 now. 
Lee Soden for South Australia. The GPS has the pace at three and a half minute kilometers. Too fast for the cameraman. <laughs> Bye, Lee. Lee from South Australia nearing the end of his run with Patrick Jaffe for Victoria catching up. Patrick won the world ranking sprint this morning and is looking like he'll post the fastest time for this leg. Let's jump across to the changeovers. In nervous moments at the changeover, waiting for the runners to come in. Alistair for the New South Wales seniors will have a few seconds lead over Cooper in the New South Wales juniors. Brioni is off now on the last leg for the New South Wales seniors and Erica is just nine seconds back for the New South Wales juniors. Erica is now on the course chasing down the lead. And here's the race for third place, a minute and a half back. Caitlin Young for Canberra seniors in yellow. South Australia in seventh place, but Emily Sorensen is on the course now. She'll be using all of her World Championship experience to claw back as much of the two minute deficit as possible. Let's take a look at the standings going into the final leg. New South Wales seniors and juniors racing for the win. Five teams still competing for third place. We're up at the top of those torturous stairs now. Erica has overtaken Briani into first place, putting the New South Wales juniors into the lead. Erica's lead over Briani is about 20 seconds. Up on the highest part of the campus now. This is the leg where we followed the two Canberra runners before. Erica has taken a different route this time, looking for the walkway through the building. Erica of New South Wales Juniors coming into control 15 with a 40 second lead over Brioni of New South Wales Seniors. Let's see if we can stay with Erica for the final couple of legs through to the finish. Erica does have a clear gap. The New South Wales juniors are going to win the race ahead of the New South Wales seniors. Erica's teammates are waiting to join her in the finish shoot for the victory run. All four of the team have posted excellent times, consistently at the top end of each run. Let's have a replay of that victory run along the finish shoot. Beating all the senior teams. What a great day for all of them. Great run. There we already have Brioni Seaman showing up in the last control, so it's going to be very tight. She's feeling. Brioni coming in for New South Wales seniors to be runners up. And I'm hearing there's going to be a sprint finish for third between Caitlin of Canberra and Emily of South Australia. Across to the presentation ceremony. So, first place again with New South Stingers. First team, Nia Shingler, Sam Walford, Cooper Morley, and Erica Enderby. Bit of a common theme of second place Canberra Cockatoos, Natalie Miller, David Stocks, Toby Lang, and Justine Hobson.